is sunny. It is very sunny outside. We've got uh, Levi Junior Ranger here. Because this is all that they sold at the store. And I didn't bring my boonie cap, so I figured probably be better to have something. Yeah. <laughs> other than nothing. So now I am officially Youth large. a Junior Ranger. Well, we're headed to the top of a mountain, and we're going to stay all night and do some photography up there tonight and tomorrow. So we're going to we're going to take you with us. So uh, here we go. better than halfway. I apologize for the audio. I, I don't have my microphone hooked up. The uh, This is a hike. Man, oh man, is it a hike. It is straight up the whole time. But uh, we talked to a couple of people that camped up there. And they said it's really great. So onward and uh, literally upward right now. So I'm going to have a snack and anybody's up there. I'm just taking it in. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. Uh, see you pretty soon. Well, we uh, we made it to camp. We're uh, right now on the edge of a cliff, and I'm, I'm hoping that Levi doesn't uh, roll off. But um, we're resting. We're going to go, and we're going to set up our tent. Uh, the campsite up here is really, really cool. Um, we'll show you that in a minute, maybe. But uh, this evening, we've got two plans, all right? So just so you know, these are the plans for what we're going to do for photography. First of all, if these clouds work, the sunset is going to be something that is like none you've ever seen. And then <laughs> this morning, we watched the sunrise come up. I've never seen colors like what I saw in the sky. There weren't any clouds, but I was ne weird because there weren't purples, it was just hot on pinks. The horizon. It was weird. So two plans toward the toward the middle of the end of this video. Um, we're going to hike up to the very highest point in Texas, up on uh, Guadalupe Mountain. Guadalupe Peak. Peak. Yep. yep. And then uh, and then in the morning, we're going to get up before the sun comes up, and we're going to go over, and we're going to, we're going to photograph the sunrise in a spot that a ranger told us about that would be good. So that's the two goals here uh, for this video. Uh, we're going to squeeze in sunset, and we're going to squeeze in sunrise. And uh, now we're going to go and rest because... This hike was a son of a gun. It was, uh, it's, it's really strange because the, I'd say the first mile and a half or two miles of the hike, it's just, holy cow, it, it's real steep. 
it leveled out some when we got into there's a a real strange it's a pine forest yeah yeah, it's, you, yeah. Walk through. You, it's, you go into the desert into this weird pine forest it's like you're walking around not, with et it's not like like uh princess pine douglas fir is what yeah. they're called yeah. it's not like those where you usually would expect to see those in zion and the high plains they're actual pine trees yeah it's strange all right so we're going to cut it we're trying to keep i'm trying to keep videos about 10 minutes so um yeah i don't even know if we'll have a lot of photography tips in this one maybe um, I'm not going to use any filters. I'm not going to use any neutral density filters because I'm going to instead, uh, I'm going to apply a gradient filter in, in post in Lightroom, which does the same thing. And it's less I have to carry because we got to go up a long way on this peak. So I, I the less I have to carry, the better. Yeah, All right. Feet. So thanks for being here. And uh, we will see you at the top of uh, Guadalupe Peak for this evening's sunset. And then uh, we'll get up tomorrow and we'll talk a little bit before the sunrise. Maybe. We'll see. You might have to walk off. All right, you want to go set up camp? Yep. All right, we're going to go set up camp. <clears throat>
finding a decent vantage point from where I'm at on this trail and honestly I'm just too worn out to go all the way to the top again so um, we're going to try to try to utilize some existing scenery here right on the trail and uh, and hope for the best so stick around uh, you never know what's going to happen so I actually changed my vantage point came up and I was able to get another shot between these trees here and um, great images great images so I'm going to pack it up. Um, we're going to head back to the camp and have coffee and stuff. So uh, be watching because these images are going to come up on the screen. I'm just in awe of how pretty this is. All right. Well, stay tuned. They're coming. I promise. You'll get to see them. And uh, I think you'll like them. Well, that's pretty much going to call it a call it a wrap on uh, on this trip into the mountains with uh, Levi the dog man. We uh, we had a great hike up to the top of the tallest peak in Texas last night, and this morning we got up early and uh, tried to do some sunrise stuff. And I think that both events were very successful. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the scenery and uh, the adventures on the trail. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trail and a really, really great campsite provided by the National Park Service. But a uh, little word to the wise off of that sun, sunset that you saw last night. Um, you would never have thought ever in a million years that the sky would have lit up the way that it did um, in that particular shot. Um, the sun had gone down, and Levi and I were talking, and I, even I was like, I don't know, I don't know. And Levi was like, well, I, I, th I, I think that's about it. I said, well, we need to wait, because sometimes the magic happens long after the sun goes down. And sure enough, it was really amazing what took place. And I'll tell you, the hike up here was a, uh, it was a backbreaker, and uh, a sweat-producing, uh, leg-tiring hike. And... You know, I think in life, when we go through and we're, we're trying to do our life, we, um, we want to quit before we get to the place where we really get to see the payoff. Now, the top of that peak was great, no doubt about that, but certainly not the same as if it were in the middle of the day. It's in the middle of the day, it's not going to be the same as it would be for sunrise or sunset here in Texas, particularly the sunsets. So, um, like in life, you know, you can feel like you're beating your head up against a wall and there's just never going to be a breakthrough. And it just takes a matter of a, of a moment. I mean, it was 30 seconds and the sky started to color up. It was way behind us and I knew that it was coming. It was like the clouds behind you when you're facing the sun, they indicate what's coming. And I don't know how that applies to life. Maybe it works for you to apply it to something, but... <laughs> I think we get little signs along the way that say something really great is coming and we tend to ignore those um, and we get frustrated and we want to give up and last night uh, had I given up you wouldn't see the images that you've seen here whether they're before in this video or after but um, it was worth every bit of the climb and uh, every bit of the time spent with my son on the trail um, I, I couldn't be greater it, it really couldn't 
uh, payoff was amazing. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you continue to come along on these adventures. Thanks a lot for coming by. All right. See you on the next trail.